the raging calls for boycott of Chinese products on the back of Sino-India border tensions trending on social media, Chinese goods are continuing to sparkle this Diwali. The anti-China sentiments which gripped the nation right after the Galwan Valley clashes appear to be fading away as markets are flooded with cheap imports from the neighboring country ahead of the Festival of Lights. The streets are brimming with all kinds of Chinese decorative items, fairy lights, LED bulbs, electric lamps, paper lamps, candles, multicolored bulbs and other decorative lights with Made in China stickers on them. And consumers are flocking to these shops for one simple reason – price. Indian alternatives have a better quality and therefore are more expensive and the price sensitivity factor seems to be playing out more at a time when the pandemic has squeezed the finances of individuals. Several popular markets of Delhi, like the Bhagirath Palace or Sadar Bazaar, are filled with these Chinese products despite the pandemic-led disruption in supply chains. China happens to be India's second biggest trading partner. Trade between the two countries was worth $87 billion in the fiscal year ended March 2019, with a trade deficit of $53.5 billion skewed in China's favour, according to the government estimates. While the government has in recent months launched measures to prevent trade partners in Southeast Asia from routing Chinese goods to India with more stringent disclosures and more frequent checks, also the top government leadership continuously talks of focus on Atmanirbhar Bharat and boycott of Chinese goods. In the aftermath of the clashes between India and the Chinese military forces, calls went out to boycott these Chinese goods. The Indian government also took steps to ramp up production of high-end electronic products, active pharmaceutical ingredients and other items by Indian manufacturers, items for which India has been heavily dependent on Chinese exports. There were also additional layers of scrutiny institutionalized for investments from China. All these actions seem to have little effect on the flooding of goods in Diwali markets. In many ways, the influx of Chinese goods in Diwali markets is surprising because of the greater scrutiny and consequent delays by Indian authorities. Ultimately, it boils down to the singular character of the pricing behaviour of Indian consumers. However, down south, in the cities of Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, Diwali seems to be without fireworks. For sellers, in the industrial hub of Hosur on the Tamil Nadu-Karnataka border, which is one of the biggest markets for firecrackers near Bengaluru, and for manufacturers in India's firecracker hub of Sivakasi in Tamil Nadu, it is not these Chinese products but COVID-19 that's causing problems. Due to the pandemic, factories in Sivakasi were running less than in half the capacity. Even with this reduction, it is not clear if these traders would be able to sell them. The situation is likely to get worse for traders selling firecrackers as the Karnataka government on November 6 announced a ban on firecrackers. Delhi, Odisha and Rajasthan have also banned firecrackers, keeping in mind the worsening air quality and the risk of wider spread of COVID-19.